Hey, hey YouTube world! Today on the Hey Jessica channel, I am breaking it down and showing you how to use my favorite system in the world, Trello, inside of your business. Now, Trello is a tool I've been using in business for well over a year at this point, and I just keep finding new, fun, and favorite ways to use it. But essentially, Trello is broken down in a super simple way. There are boards, they can be public, they can be team private, they can be person private, or they can just be private, okay? So there are different boards, and you can have them in different categories of visibility. Now from there, each board has lists. That's a really hard word for me to say, admittedly. Like lists, lists. Anyway, each board has lists and each board can have as many lists as you possibly want. Then each list can have cards and each list can have as many cards as you possibly want. So to put that in terms for your business, a board would be equal to like, what's a project? What's an over-encompassing project? The lists would be um, the equivalent of what has to get done inside that project, maybe even a workflow. You can actually see my blog workflow by clicking this card. Um, but some type of breakdown of the project, whether it's, you know, by month or by day or by topic or by person or by be whatever. It can literally be anything you want. Then inside of each list, you can break that down into cards and I equate the cards into tasks. You can even put multiple tasks in one card. You can have a lot of cards with one task each. It's really up to you. So in terms of business, if you have a project and you have tasks to do, so I'm actually going to just run through and show you how to use Trello. I'm going to show you how to set up a board and how to set up lists and cards and even use some of my favorite power-ups inside of Trello. So let's go. When you sign up and log into Trello, you will initially see all of your boards in one layout just like this. I see all of my starred boards first, personal boards, and then it breaks down into teams. What you have to do is you actually have to have a team created. You create boards under that team, you create lists under the boards, and you create cards under the lists. So it is a sequential type of process. So I'm just going to show you that very basic level of how you create a team, how you create a board, how you create lists, and how you create cards. And then in further tutorials, we'll talk about some of the more advanced features of Trello. So what you want to do is when you're logged in, you want to go up to this little plus sign and you want to create a personal team. You could create a business team, but you actually have to be paying for business class Trello. And for the most part, they're exactly the same. So create a personal team and that way you have something to add your boards to when you start creating them. So I'm just going to call this test and I'm going to call it test team for blog two because I already have one and I just created this team. Now you can go in and edit all of your settings here, add members, um, change the logo, et cetera, and change whether it's a public team or a private team or whatever. Now boards within this team can only be shown to the team members on this team. So if you have multiple teams going and maybe you wanted you know, an assistant on one team and not on the other, you can't, she will not be able to see anything on this team board unless she's added, but you can totally play with that. Now to create a board, you can do it straight from this team page, or you can go up to the little plus sign and hit create board. Again, we're just going to hit test and we're going to add it to this new team and hit create. When you're brand new to Trello, you actually won't have any teams except for the one you just created. So just choose that one. You can actually choose whether this is team visible, private, or public. If it's team visible, everyone on the team will be able to see it and interact and edit it. If it's private, only people added to the board itself will be able to view and edit. And if it's public, no one can edit it necessarily with the public link, but everyone will be able to view it. And then only people actually added to the board can edit. So 
We'll just leave it Tim, Team Visible and hit Create. This is what the board starts out as. Um, you can come over here and change the backgrounds, use stickers, use power-ups, change all of these settings, etc. Again, we'll kind of get into that in later tutorials, but for now, let's just show you how to actually set up the board and the list and everything. So if you were okay with this kind of ugly blue background, you would just leave it and then you would come under here and add list. Let's say you wanted to create a board to organize your, your business. You just kind of wanted a dump type of board and you wanted to be able to organize. So you might add a list that's, that's, um, social media and, um, blog and webinars and clients and joint ventures. I'm just kind of pulling things out of the top of my head, but these are all lists. Everything I just created is a list inside of this big blue ugly board. <laughs> now under each list, you can add cards. So, and you can also move these lists around by the way. So if you wanted to do that, you can, but let's say under social media, I wanted to add a Facebook card and a Twitter card and a Pinterest card and an Instagram card. I can do all of that. And then I can go into each card and leave comments, make a checklist, make a due date, add attachments, tag people. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless with these cards. So let's say on this, I just wanted to say that my Facebook link was facebook.com forward slash Hey Jessica LLC. And that's all I wanted on that card. And then Twitter to do the same, etc. For the blog, maybe I want to do like posting schedule and promotion schedule. And maybe I want to go through here and say that I want to make a checklist and I want to post on August 12th and I want to post on August 29th. And then I could come through here later and say on the 12th, blog post title here. So you could use that in whatever way you want to. Same with webinars, whatever you want to do here. Every list has its own set of cards. Every card has its own set of comments and checklists and things like that. To change the background, you just hit change background. To add members, you do that there. Um, you can hit more and get some of the more advanced like copy and email to board settings um, and actually set up the board itself if you want to do that. You can remove permissions for commenting and adding and removing members, that type of thing. So if only you wanted to be able to do that or whatever, you can absolutely do that here. The power-ups are a really powerful feature, but that's something I'm going to show in a different tutorial. So I won't add it now. Now, the last thing I want to show you is that if you want to change this from team visible to private or public, you can. You can also star it so that it shows up in your top lineup of boards and you can change the team it's a part of and the name. So essentially that is it. That is how you work Trello. One last thing before we go, anytime you have a notification in Trello, it will pop up as red here over this little bell. So if you're communicating with your team or something like that on a Trello board and someone tags you or adds you to a board, it will show up there so that you can view it and be attentive to it. Yes, guys, that is literally all there is to Trello and it is amazing and that's why so many people rave about it, including me. Now, if you'd like a whole slew of Trello templates I have put together in the past, you can click on the link in the description box and get those for free. All you'll have to do is open them up, make a copy, and you can use them to your heart's content. And for more tips like this one and other nerdy business marketing system tips, you're going to want to hit the red subscribe button because you don't want to miss anything. I promise. All right, so hit subscribe, leave your favorite thing about Trello in the comments, and until next time, bye y'all.